third week of No Shave November, so after the break, it's going to be extra. All right, so headphones, please, please, and anyone else. Thank you. So now this review is what we, or sorry, this warm up. This warm up is what we've been doing. So you should know how to get a scatter plot, and you should be able to do a regression. If you forgot or if you weren't here yesterday, I'm gonna remind you right here, right now, right? Stay awake. Okay. So on number one, did you put it in your calculator already? Okay. So here we go. Okay. Let's get let's get there first. Okay. Whoops. I accidentally hit yes. Okay. So X and Y at the top, please. One, two, three, four, five on the left side. <laughs> Okay, 200, 150, 25, 12.5. Now, how do you get a scatter plot? What do I press? Menu something, something's correct. But 3.9 is more correct. Okay, so once I get here, I need to make sure I click X on the bottom, Y on the top. Now, this is curving down. It looks like it'll flatten out. This could either be exponential or half of a quadratic. So when you're reading your review in your test, see if it tells you what it is, okay? But this, we're gonna go with exponential because it does flatten out. It would keep flattening out after that, okay? So exponential, how do I get rid of that half window? Control K, delete. And then for a regression, if you haven't been here, <clears throat> we uh, press menu what for a regression? Uh, four for statistics, one for stat calculations. We said it's exponential, so not three. Which one's exponential? Uh, I can't say that. <laughs> A. Okay. Now, if you forget, you just got to look on the list, okay, and find it. So menu four, one A, and then X must be X and Y must be Y. Cool. Now, if it gives you A and B, you're doing it A times B to the power of X. Let's go ahead and write that equation down. Y. All right, I'll come to you in a second. Zero, 400. Make that look nicer. 0 0.5 to the power of X. Okay, so you have to be able to write an exponential equation. If you're, so check it out. If you're trying to get rid of this, you press Control. So, control, K, delete. And once you're here, menu 41A. And then X, X and X, Y and Y. Okay. Yeah, the first one has to be X, second one has to be Y. Now, the second one, let's try the second one. You should be able to, once again, put this into your spreadsheet. So I'm going to do this a little bit quicker here. X and Y have to go at the top. Okay, so I'm typing this in, and then I want to do menu 3.9 for my scatter plot, and I get, it looks, it looks like it could be pointy, but it's supposed to be curved. It is quadratic. Now, if it's quadratic, let's go ahead and get rid of that table, or that, that half screen, control, K, delete. And then what we want to do is we want to, no, don't do that. Uh, menu for one and for quadratic, which one is it? Okay, you will see it on there. Number six is quadratic. So we're going to press menu 416. Where's your warm sheet? That's from last time, but you get them out of the blue bin if you need it. Yeah. So menu 416, 
X must be X, Y must be Y. Now, you might have to scroll up to get it. If you get ugly numbers, that's fine, okay? But you need to write it as AX squared plus BX plus C. So here we go. Y equals A, negative 1.43. We're going to round that. X squared. And then my B is 14.29 plus 14.29X. Again, I'm... Yes. So, y'all remember how to round, right? So this 2, next to it is an 8, right? The 8 makes the 2 round up. And then plus C, which is minus 36.06. Okay, and you will on your review and probably on your test have these ugly numbers. You've got to be able to match it up with multiple choice, okay? So again, that is how you get the scatter plot and then the regression to get the equation. Also, on your review and your test, you have domain or range. We've done this, uh, but we must return to do this. Okay, so number three, what is domain, X or Y? Domain is X, okay? And range is what? Okay, so let's go ahead and put X and Y here. You have to remember what variable it is, okay? If you get it mixed up, you'll get it wrong. Now, is X domain from left to right or bottom to top? What do you think? Can you wait for that? From left to right, okay? If domain is X, X goes left to right, it's horizontal. How far to the left does this go? Okay, negative five. Look on the x-axis. How far to the right does it go? Positive three, okay? You have to be able to write that as a domain, and that's how you do it. Bless you. Since the endpoints are shaded in, you're going to put a less than underline, okay? Less than or equal, or equal to, okay? So negative five on the left, positive three on the right. Anybody want to guess or give me the answer for the range? What should that be? Someone said it. What? Okay, it starts at the bottom, negative 1, less than or equal to, less than or equal to, and how far up does it go? Positive 3. <laughs> does everyone see it's going from bottom to top? Bless you. Okay. From bottom to top. I got the black cat. Okay, so again, those are some reviews of problems that are on your review that you got yesterday. So with the review you got yesterday or that you need to get out of that blue bin, okay, you can get it right here, right now. The answers are right there, right there, and right there. They're on the Google Classroom. The video is on the Google Classroom. I gave you your grades so you can see what you're missing. From last week, there's two things that went in plus the warm-ups, three things that went in. What? If you need to do that, be my guest. Everything's in the blue bin. All the notes are over there. If you have questions, please let us know. We need you to finish your missing work, and then we need you to work on your review. Finish your review, bring it tomorrow, and we will do that test.